There is a brand new massive library of print on demand and t-shirt design prompts that you can access totally for free and it will help you find inspiration for some of the biggest models out there including Ideogram, Flux, DAL-E3 and more. So the website in question is a new kind of explore feed that my designs introduced for Dream AI. And don't worry, you don't even have to have an account to be able to access this. You can just click the link in the description and it will bring you straight to this right here. And you can essentially view a ton of really, really good prompts. And almost everyone using my designs uses it for print on demand. So you can be sure to find a ton of really good print on demand prompts here. The way this works is you can easily just click into any of these. It will open up the image full screen and multiple results if they did get multiple results back from their prompt and then on the right hand side you can easily copy the prompt right here as well as you see the details about the model that was used the resolution styles etc on top of that what's really handy with this dream ai tab is that you can filter it right here on the right hand side based on whichever ai model you are designing with or maybe you just want to do some research as to what these different models actually look like and what the differences are for example, if I filter this with the DALI 3 tag right here, it's going to refresh. And by the way, I also have the most likes button right here enabled. Now we can see a lot of graphics that were generated with DALI 3 and you can kind of get an idea of what the style is like. So these are quite detailed, vibrant designs, three dimensional in most cases. And the text, whilst you know some of the text is all right, oftentimes you will notice mistakes in this spelling, which is a common thing with DALI 3. If we change this filter now to, let's say, Ideogram V2 down here, we're going to get a very different aesthetic. I can predict that. Yes, there we go. These are a lot more simplistic and the spelling also tends to be not only does it look better, but also tends to be correct and not as many spelling mistakes to be found. So this way you can easily do some research on which model might be best for generating the style that you need for your specific niche. For example, Recraft V3 is also quite a good underrated AI model that you can find results for right here within this Dream AI My Designs Explore tab. In this case, we've got a lot of uh, patterns. I mean, that's not an issue. You can still find POD specific stuff. You can also search anything at the top. So for example, if I reset this to show all models, you could search for, let's do sunset and hit enter. And this way you could compare different models based on the sunset designs that you have in print on demand. So these look a lot like ideogram for me right here. If I click into this, you're probably going to see, yep, this is ideogram V two right here. Once again, you can copy the prompt if you want to and get some more details about the resolution, etc. You can also click more to reveal the entire prompt if it's longer. And this one over here looks a lot more like Flux to me. So if we open this, this is Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. There is a bunch of different Flux models. And whilst you've got sunsets filtered out, you could also once again apply the filters right here. So let's see if there's any DAL E3 sunset designs. Yes, there is. And again, these look quite different. There isn't too many. I'm guessing not too many people use DAL E3 for sunsets. But if we change this back to let's do Flux 1 Pro, you're probably going to get a bunch more results because that model is pretty decent with sunsets. As you can see, there we go. This library is very, very new. So it's going to keep keep filling up and you can keep filtering through right here and finding different prompts and inspiration. You can also sort this right here by most recent and that way you'll get a different order. If I delete sunset, you will just see what's currently being generated with Dream AI publicly. There is a difference. Not everything, like for those people who are using Dream AI, not all of your generations are suddenly just going to be public. There is a setting to this and I'll explain that in a second. But I just wanted to give you another bonus tip right here within this library of how to utilize the prompts that you may find and then kind of repurpose them, scale them out and make one prompt into 10, 20, 30 prompts with a very easy trick. Let's say, for example, you found this example right here and you really like the way this design looks. Well, in this case, what we can do is we can copy the prompt. It says archery is my therapy. It was generated with ideogram V2 at a three by four resolution. And we can now take this prompt and head over to the My Designs GPT, which is inside of ChatGPT. I will have a link to this in the description as well. And you can just paste this prompt into here and then say something at the end along the lines of scale this prompt out to 20 other popular hobbies in the US. And now it will take the format of this prompt 
and keep it all the same, but it's going to swap out just the instances of the actual hobby in the text, obviously right here in the phrase and then in the graphic, or that's what it should do at least. Let's go give it a test, hit enter on this and there we go. There's no fluffy, like annoying headings in the middle like there usually is with ChatGPT. It just puts one prompt after the other right here with a line break and yeah, everything looks like it stayed the same pretty much vintage style design and it's just swapped out golfer, swinging a club, hiker, walk Working with a backpack, cyclist, riding a mountain bike, and then cycling is my therapy, hiking is my therapy. Yep, there we go. That's perfect, exactly what I wanted. It's still going right here. Now you've got a ton of prompts with the similar style for a different set of niches or hobbies in this case. And what you can do now to take this even a step further is you can copy all of this right here. Obviously you can generate them within Ideogram. You can do it with the spreadsheets, the batch function that they have now. You can generate it in, an, in another tool if you want to, but what you can do with Dream AI, which is built into my designs, is you can go ahead and copy all of these as they are right here. You can come straight into the Dream AI tab inside of my designs right here on the left hand side. And then you can just paste all of those prompts into here. So now we've got a long list of prompts inside of this Dream AI prompt bar. Then you can enable parallel prompts, which means we can run all of these parallel to one another at the same time, as long as there's a, a line break between them. And we'll We'll choose the same model. So Ideogram V2, um, we'll make sure magic prompt is turned off and we've got the correct resolution right here set. I'll just turn this down to one image to save on credits. Speaking of saving on credits, what you can do now is you can tick this right here, publicly available to get a 30% discount on credits. So if I enable this, it goes down to 56 credits for all of these, there should be 20 prompts, right? If you look at the info for this, it essentially says you have the option to make your dream images public, allowing others to view and use them as well. So if you make them public, they'll show up in that library I just showed you. Others can use the prompt, they can use the images as well. If they have a My Design subscription, I think they can use it commercially. So please note that once an image is published, it cannot be unpublished to remove a public image, you would need to delete the dream, which will also remove it from the public gallery. How do you do that? Well, you can go into the history right here, then click on this little symbol and then click delete dream. So if you wanted to do that, I mean, you could make them public, save on credits and, and then delete them after. It's just going to be a bit of a tedious job. And it also says by making your images public, you'll receive a 30% discount on each generation. While we have existing plans for additional benefits in the future, this discount is our current offering. So they offer even more benefits to you generating images publicly. So let me show you this as an example then. We've got public available enabled. We've got one image per prompt right here. And now we can just click dream and it should paste all of these prompts into our history right here straight away. There we go. Typically takes a few seconds to load up, but now we have all of these generating at the same time. And you could have also done this with like four images at the time, giving you 80 results. Is that right? Yes, 80 results, 80 images, just by quickly copying and pasting what you got out of ChatGPT based on that original prompt. So here we go. Dancing is my therapy. First result, golfing is my therapy. Here the text is slightly wrong, unfortunately. Surfing is my therapy. And the graphic has also been changed along with that. So really, really good, quick way to not just find a ton of prompts in that public library where you don't even need to have a free My Designs account. And this was just a quick tip to show you that you can take those prompts, go a step further and have them kind of multiplied in a very, very quick fashion and also generated very quickly with parallel prompts inside of Dream AI. Now, in case you didn't know, My Designs has now also introduced a way cheaper, more affordable starter plan, and they've made it a lot easier to list your designs on Etsy as a beginner. So if you want to see my 2025 beginner tutorial going over all of these changes, then make sure to check out this video next.